Good afternoon everyone and welcome to a very exciting video for Planet Zoo. We have just today had the announcement of the Planet Zoo Aquatic Pack coming alongside update 1.4 on the 8th of December, so a week away. Um, this will introduce five new animals, so we've got a, quite a nice range. We've got the King Penguin, which we knew kind of from the leak the giant otter and the grey seal which we knew from the leaks as well um, but we've also now found out we will be getting the Cuvia's dwarf caiman um, which is a, a small crocodilian and the diamondback terrapin as our exhibit animal um, so they will be the five animals we'll be getting in the planet zoo aquatic pack um, very very exciting times we will be getting deep swimming confirmed um, so free deep swimming, not linked to any enrichment items or food items, that sort of thing, just standard swimming um, in deep water for the species. Um, in this pack we assume all of them, all the habitat species will, um, plus we know the saltwater crocodile has been updated for that as well. We'll talk a little bit about update 1.4 at the end, because um, I did a stream yesterday rather than a video on it. Um, we will be getting 170 scenery assets um, and they have specified that they wanted to do stuff with a bit more of a modern look um, because that's kind of what people had asked for um, and it means that they'll be a lot more versatile in the way that we can use them which is um, really good really really helpful um, and we will be getting a timed scenario as well so i know a lot of people enjoyed the challenge of the uh, the last time scenario in the uh, the last update <coughs> and the last DLC even. So in this one we will be getting a new time scenario in Oregon in the USA focused on more this kind of um, aquatic theming I I assume. Um, so that is that is all the stuff we'll be getting in the, in the aquatic pack. Very exciting. So. I thought what we would do is we'll go through each scene in the um, announcement trailer and just just kind of analyse, see what we've got, um, speculate a little bit um, on everything that's shown in here and then we have got some other images off Steam which show some slightly different things um, and then at the end we'll just have a very quick recap of what's coming in the update as well. So. Starting off, we have the first scene here, which is a lovely king penguin, looking great. Um, it's a really nice model. Um, hopping out through the centre of a some sort of floating platform, um, which is very exciting. So obviously new animations and stuff, um, interesting ones for the penguin, um, plus also a new habitat item, I assume, here um, for them to use. We don't know... Now we do actually know, actually, after I looked at the um, images a bit more, it does look like this is the image um, that confirms what we had in the saltwater crocodile image. So we had something that looked like floating blue barrels or something with something on top. We weren't sure exactly what it was, but in the later image we can see that it does look like this is the item that we saw in that one. So very exciting. On the left hand side, all that rock I think Looking at it again, it does look like it might be um, the same rock as the right hand side, but recolored. So it looks like the rock set that we'll be getting is a kind of very much zoo mock rock style, where it kind of it's supposed to look real, but it actually does look a bit fake. But in terms of actually making a a realistic looking zoo, it will actually be useful having something that doesn't look too real, <laughs> like a rock. So. It does look like this very, it's almost quite smooth looking rock, it, it's a bit more plain in the colour. Um, it just yeah, it just looks a little bit more fake, not as, as realistic, um, which is kind of what we want in a way. Um, and the pieces, looking at it again, these kind of squared pieces on the left in the white, it might actually be that these aren't the snowy rocks, although they might still be snowy rocks, but it might be that these are actually recoloured white versions of the ones on the right hand side um, which will be really cool to have to have them recolorable because that means that we can use them anywhere we want really um, in any exhibit any habitat any um, biome anything like that so they will be very versatile if um, if that is the case 
Um, the water itself maybe does look a little bit more blue than normal, but it's hard to kind of tell. Um, and then it does look like at the back there, which we'll see clearer images of um, a little bit later, it looks like the new font there, it looks um, not as sort of uh, kind of clumsy looking and comical font, it looks a bit more cleaner, modern, a bit thinner, not as kind of gaudy and um, childish looking um, as the ones that we've got currently, so that will be very nice. In the second image, this one we is quite a lot. I won't go into too much detail on everything because we'll get closer looks at some of the other stuff in other scenes. But the main things I want to focus on in this one, foliage-wise, at the bottom there we can see these really large-leaved um, plants that I do kind of recognise um, from seeing them out and about near water um, around where I am. So they are a nice new addition. Um, we've got at the back, kind of in the centre, but also on the left hand side, we can see these in the sunlight, these light, lighter green leaves um, that look kind of palmy with the red, reddish stalks. They will be new plants. Um, we have got on the left hand side at the bottom covering the path, um, we have got some interesting kind of archway made of, it looks like kind of tree roots or something, um, it's hard to tell maybe recolourable, maybe not, and a similar kind of dead tree looking thing um, a little bit further up behind the uh, the mock rock looking uh, archway. We've got a kind of dead tree with just some bran branches coming out of it. Um, we've also got this reddish plant that we saw in one of the images um, yesterday on the tops of the roofs here, a kind of flat covering plant uh, which will, looks new as well. Um, and then the last, there's two other things that I'll focus on in this image that we we won't, we'll, we'll, we'll get better images with uh, other stuff. But on the right hand side, in that in that larger path area, that kind of plaza, um, it looks like we've got the new benches and umbrellas, which look quite nice and modern, kind of hanging um, shade structure there, which looks very nice. And um, these in the central central part of the image with the curved building and um, the curved edge of the building we've got these plants or leaf leaf kind of decorations and things which is um, quite exciting especially the fact that they curve with the building by the looks of it um, which is a, a very nice thing and we can also see in the background the penguin sign and the seal cove um, with the penguin looking um, art and the seal art as well um, so they will be the things we'll focus on in this image. The next image, this gives us a, a bit clearer um, view of some of the stuff that we just saw in the overview. So we've got these new plants in the centre, the reddish stalked ones um, with the fronds and the really large leaved. Um, we've got that dead looking tree again on the left hand side, um, that's dark greenish. We have got a little seagull on the right hand side, a little decoration which isn't always nice for a kind of coastal theme um, and then the the rest of it focuses on this habitat on the left hand side so we can see these otter um, statues on the rocks there which um, look nice we can actually see the giant otters in the background in that habitat um, but we don't really get a very close view of them um, at all so far and we can also see again on that building there behind the otters on the left hand side there is a lot of decoration um, which is nice to see so um, it's hard to tell whether that's new stuff, old stuff um, but it, um, it does look nicely decorated um, so hopefully we'll be getting some more stuff like that um, but that is the stuff I think in this image that's new to focus on in this image we get um, again the same two plants that we saw in the in the left hand side there behind the big leaved one and the red stalked fronds um, but it also looks like we might have a slightly different one on the bottom right there with these pinkish purple flowers it's hard to tell um, but they do look like there might be new aquatic plants on the surface there we've obviously got the lilies on the left hand side uh, which we had already but those ones on the right do look like they might be different 
Um, the boat itself, I think we might have already, but I'm I'm not certain. I don't. I've not never really used it, so I can't tell if that's new or not. But um, it may or may not be. In this image, so here we again we get a nice look at the otters enclosure. So you can see the otters there on on their little island part in the centre of their habitat, um, which is nice. Again, still not very close, but a nice little teaser shot. Um, using one of the enrichment items. We've got a nice look at the actual statues themselves. Um, looks like two different varieties of that um, that giant otter statue art, which is lovely. We can see more of the decoration on that wall at the back behind the otter on the right hand side. Um, some green planty looking decorations, maybe some water looking decorations as well, um, halfway up the wall. We can see the weeping willows on the left hand side which we saw in a couple of shots yesterday um, which is um, a really good addition, something I'm really excited for. And then on the right hand side of the image possibly that plant is new but I, I can't tell if it's just one of the um, elephant plants or one of those type things or something like that. Um, yeah, I can't quite tell if that's new, I have a feeling it might not be but it looks a bit different there. And then we can see those umbrellas on the right hand side, the shade shade umbrellas again a little bit closer, um, which look very nice as I said and it looks like they're recolourable which is always nice. So that is a, a nice modern looking stylish addition as they said for a, for a modern look. In this image not a huge amount um, new again but it's just a, a close up shot so we've got the big leaved um, ones again in the foreground and to the right hand side. We've got these interesting frondy looking ones in the centre at the back with interesting shaped trunks really thick at the bottom and thin at the top so they'll be quite interesting ones to use. And we've got another look at this kind of archway made of trunk sort of things. They look kind of swampy looking on the right hand side there behind this group of people. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that's made up if it's a set piece or if it's um, a modular kind of thing so yeah that'll be an interesting one. In this next image um, a few points so we've got another look at that kind of archway and um, behind it we've got a big tree in this in the same kind of style and um, the trunk is at least but it's got foliage at the top. Um, we've got then a look at the weeping willows again in the background which is nice and um, there's a couple of small things but we'll see later in proper detail so I won't go into them but then we do see in the middle a group of exhibits which we will see a picture of um, as well um, later on a better look for the uh, the Terrapins one and here we go straight away so <laughs> this image is pretty much there to, to show off the, um, the Terrapins so this is a new exhibit type with um, a fairly deep water compared to anything we had before. We did have some that had water in but nothing to this scale so um, this is the Terrapins one so we can see it's kind of filled up relatively high as I said compared to some of the others um, maybe a couple of foot deep or so um, with a, a land area in there as well. <coughs> We've got this frondy looking plant again in the foreground on the left um, and then we can also see again a little bit of that reddish plant on top of the exhibit um, to kind of blend it in. And again all this stuff looks like this same mock rock style. The next image, there's quite a lot in this one actually. Um, the main thing that stuck out for me when I saw this was the decoration aspect. Um, so we can see obviously the new font 3D letter saying zoo there which looks again as I said nice, quite modern, stylish. Um, which is lovely. We've got signs for the animals, um, artwork for the animals, sorry, so we've got Seal Cove which looks like it's hard to tell if they're 2D letters or 3D um, but they do look relatively small, still not tiny but definitely much more useful um, where it says Seal Cove there um, and then the larger one again on the penguins sign at the back and then we've got the penguin signs, artwork, the seal artwork and then the terrapin on the left hand side there which again looks like it might be a different font actually that um, the words that I looks um, like it's got uh, a different font to it definitely um, 
and yeah, the actual Terrapin artwork. Um, in here, it also looks like we have got some new, the same new um, bench style um, as we saw earlier in the small small seating bench and the bin. So a kind of rock base and a wooden top to it that's hopefully recolorable. It looks like it should be. Um, so that will be a nice addition. Again, quite quite easy to use anywhere if it's recolorable and stuff. Um, and then. The other main thing that we can see here is in the center of the image the education sign board for the Cayman, um, which is very exciting. So um, that will be a really nice addition. It's a smaller crocodilian would, uh, is always kind of useful, um, adds a bit of variety. Um, and it looks like that might be a completely indoor enclosure, so that will be quite interesting to see how they've, how they've laid it out. But obviously we can do that sort of thing as well. Um, we also may maybe have um, some recolorable wood sets. So on the left hand side you can see that dark purplish kind of colour matching the bench. Um, and on the right hand side for the seal building you can see it's um, there's a, a blue wooden looking building set. So we can hope that that will be an actual flexi colour. Uh, wooden building set that would be perfect because that's something we've really lacked um, I've been using sort of the mural piece every now and then to, to give that effect but that will be really useful if we do get it so hopefully that will be the case now this next image is I think really nice um, it looks really good so there's a few things in here so the main thing that sticks out obviously is the path so um, we can assume this is, uh, it's hard to tell, I can't remember now if, if the paths were included in the Australia set um, in the actual DLC or if those ones that came out at the time came in the update, so like the Red Earth one and those sorts of things, um, but yeah it does look like uh, this will definitely, it's definitely aquatic themed obviously, um, it's that kind of um, sunlight through water rippled effect um, which does look very nice um, very modern looking it could be used quite nicely in these aquatic areas we've got the little seagull again um, and sitting on some of those benches again and it, they're obviously in a blue color so that means they are recoverable um, which is always good we can see the font for the penguins a little bit better again um, and then we get a better look at the artwork stuff in this so we can see the penguin ones nice and close um, we've got the stuff uh, the other stuff on the wall so these kind of mountains icebergy type um, images and the clouds um, it's we'll we'll find out I suppose whether they are all linked together or if they're individual pieces that you can place or how exactly that works and then we can also see this kind of sculpture area with the fountain um, with some penguin signs um, we've got some little fish on there as well, so that's quite nice to have some little fish signs. And the actual main sort of frame, um, which looks quite nice as well. So, yeah, exciting stuff, some nice new stuff. That um, that railing as well on the left-hand side looks like quite a nice railing, actually, for these kind of areas. So, this next image... We don't see a huge amount in this one, <coughs> but some, some important things. So we can see, again, the mock rock with the fountain um, on the left. Um, but we can also see the seal statues um, surrounding it, which is nice. We can see what looks like... I can't tell if that um, on, the, on the very bottom left, that is the new educator podium sort of speaker thing. And with the light and stuff, it might be, but it's hard to tell. Um, we can see the benches again um, in the blue colour. And then this, the obviously main feature, is the lighthouse. So um, we don't know, I suppose, whether that is handmade or if it's a set piece. Um, but either way, it looks very nice. Um, and then the main thing, again, is uh, this building next to it, the, the shop. Um, the vendor shop or food shop, whatever it is, can't tell what it is, but that is built using this white 
wood, which we can hope then definitely confirms the flexi color wood wall set because normally these outer frames for the shops and things like that they make with the standard sets. So um, this one is in this nice bright white with some red trim and it does look like hopefully this will be the set that we will be getting um, which will be very useful as I said. In this next one we get a nice look at an overview of the penguin habitat. So we can see the adults but also some baby penguins there, some chicks, um, which are very cute. You can see a lot more of this mock rock um, in a pale colour. This one looks pale grey so it, it does hint towards it being flexi colour. Um, then we have got the, the art on the walls again, the kind of mountains, icebergs, sea, clouds, all that sort of thing. Um, and we can also see a little rubber duck toy on the left hand side in the water. So we assume that will be a new enrichment type for these, um, or for various animals. We don't know exactly what we'll be able to use it, but um, we assume at least some of the aquatic pack animals. Um, that is pretty much it for this image. Other other views of stuff we've already seen um, in uh, in other shots, but um, it, these these interesting sort of archways and things look quite nice. And I wonder if they're set made pieces pre-made, or if they uh, have been individually placed. Now the last couple. So we had some underwater shots earlier, but they had writing over them, so I thought I'd save it till last. So we do get confirmed free diving, as I said earlier, um, and these are some shots of the penguins free diving. So we can see penguins at varying depths there under the water. One at the top um, on the right hand side. Uh, we've got one just sort of below the surface on the left hand side, and then the two further down at the bottom um, swimming upwards so this will be very nice indeed um, and it does also show a better look here at this wooden set which I hadn't actually realised until now but this flexi colour wood set looks like um, it is framing the underwater viewing area in two different shades of blue so that is that is really good really um, useful and then this is the last image not a great one because they are moving too much but um, just showing again the free diving of the penguins so um, very very exciting see little bubble trails and things that they leave which is a little nice at touch um, and yeah just overall showing that this is what we'll be getting the free diving um, and we can sort of follow them going up and down and everything in the water so lovely stuff so um, that is everything from the announcement trailer so Next we'll move on to the set of images released for the aquatic pack on Steam because they are some slightly different shots and different um, different images and things that we can pick out in these pictures. So um, this is the first one, so this is another overview shot. Um, but we do see the majority of the stuff that's new in this image is the stuff on the left. So um, the only thing we'll say about the rest of the stuff, we can see the rubber ducks again in the penguin pool on the right hand side plus a couple of these um, large wooden platforms, floating platforms. We can see the decorations again on the penguin habitat and stuff like that, the, the main path area that we saw previously um, in the centre, the kind of underwater looking path. Um, it does look like maybe, maybe a new roof um, just to the left of the main plaza area um, in this kind of multicolored bluish purplish color might be a new roof piece um, and then um, to the back where the pip shot juice signs are I think it's pip shot juice I'm not too great on my uh, my logos and stuff for the in-game facilities but um, it looks like there's some other decorations and artwork underneath the signs and I can't tell exactly what they are um, from here it's hard to tell I can't tell if they're otters or if they're penguins or if they're fish um, or seals they might even be seals it's hard to tell but um, some more decorations at least um, there we can see a few of the plants again scattered throughout the new stuff um, and then the other thing 
then to focus on is all the stuff on the left hand side. So this looks like their seal habitat. So we can see down there, um, we can see at least two seals, um, one on that large platform, um, which is different to the one in the penguins obviously, it's um, a lot bigger, um, flat with these posts on the side, um, but we can see that uh, on the, uh, the image there with two of them in there um, and a seal on top and then it looks like there might be another seal a bit further down towards the left hand bottom corner. Um, so that is uh, that is the seals. Um, the water, again, the water does look maybe bluer. It's hard to tell. So maybe the water temperature regulator stuff will have an effect on the, on the colour of water and things, or maybe they've overhauled the whole water system, who knows. Um, and then we've also got that interesting um, structure in the seals as well, that kind of almost lighthouse type structure, but a slightly different version with a ladder, so if that ladder is a, a, a piece that we can use, um, a construction piece in different sizes, that would be really handy um, for a lot of people, I would say, if we had like a 1 meter version, 2 meter and a 4 meter or that sort of thing, as we do with most things, that would be very handy indeed. Um, and then just yeah, a lot of the mock rock, the stuff on the left obviously is grey, the stuff on the right looks a lot, um, a lot lighter grey. So it definitely uh, does seem to be the case um, with that, that it will be recolorable mock rock type that we're getting. The next image is just a nice picture of the penguins in their habitat. So we can see adults and chicks again using the, uh, with the, one of the sprinkler enrichments or the water jet enrichments. Um, we have got a nice view there of the decorations on the wall with the icebergs and everything like that. Um, probably the best shot we've got. And then the only thing that intrigues me in this one um, that's that's different is to the right hand side of the penguin on the left, on the wall there, there is that kind of circular thing which I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. I don't know if that's new or if it's something I've just never noticed before that we have in the game, but um, it's hard to tell. It looks like it might be some sort of vent or pipe or I don't know something interesting but I'm not sure what um, so it'll be interesting to see what that is um, and what that's used for the next image nothing really to point out too much in this but um, it is just the penguins swimming underwater which look lovely and um, we can see again some of the underwater plants that we saw in the crocodile images um, for the update uh, down at the bottom there of the water and this is also the one that confirmed for me the the enrichment item or habitat item there. You can see it at the top of the water with the blue barrels that we saw in the crocodile image. Um, but this time in this image we can see the, the wooden aspect at the top which we now know looks like um, the one that we've seen previously with the hole in the middle. So I think we can be fairly sure to say that that is the same item um, unless there are multiple items with that have these same floating structures which there might be um, in an aquatic pack but um, we will see when it comes out. Next image we get quite a nice look at the terrapins exhibit um, on the left hand side and um, seeing the a bit more of the structure and how it's sort of quite full with a, a bit in the middle there for the land um, looks like nicely planted um, with the, the stumps um, some plants some rocks and stuff like that you can see more of the same plants that we'd seen, the frondy one with the big big base and the red one on top of the roof of the exhibit. And again, a bit more of this mock rock type stuff. Um, potentially that to the left, uh, the right, sorry, of that mock rock is a tree which looks like it could be new as well, um, where the vines connect to. But We'll, we will see about that one. This next image we have just a lovely picture of a flower. I'm not sure exactly what flower it is. Um, I'm not very up on my plants. Um, I'm more an animal person obviously. But a very nice plant nonetheless. And um, yeah just a, a generally nice shot of it. A couple of other plants that we've kind of seen already surrounding it. 
um, mostly just the one, the big, big leaved one on the left hand side, but um, yeah, just a generally nice shot there of um, this plant. Now the next one is the time scenario we assume. So it's got it's got a timer on there, so we can assume it's the time scenario, um, which is the one in Oregon. Um, not a huge amount different here, as such. More of a look at the new plants dotted about, the the new rocks set. We can see a penguin enclosure there. Um, we can see a keeper there in the habitat, and he's obviously going to fill up the one on land. Um, we still don't know how the underwater feeder will work. Um, but some people saying maybe this floating item is connected to the underwater feeder, we're not certain. It does look like there's an, something on the bottom of the water in that shot, um, which could be an underwater feeder, it's a similar kind of colour, that sort of thing, so maybe they're connected, maybe not. Um, we can see some yellow rubber ducks, so that, that must mean that they're recolourable, we assume. Um, and then that blue colour for the underwater viewing slash bridge element there. Um, it's hard to kind of tell from here, maybe it is the recolourable stuff from the video that we saw earlier where the people were underwater looking at the penguins. Um, it looks like it could be that. Um, but yes, either way it looks quite quite nice, quite pretty. Um, so I think that is everything in this image that I can see. But that um, Flexicolor wood set will be very handy for all sorts of stuff, not just this. Um, it can be used for anything. Uh, next one, we have just again a nice picture of the penguins in their enclosure. A really nicely laid out mock rock stuff. Um, and again a little bit of the mural sort of thing with the icebergs. It looks like it's on the concrete, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see if that is just a set piece that you place down. Um, in however many and it links up together however many you want to go across um, but we, we will see about that one this one we've pretty much seen already in the video but um, it's just a bit of a sharper clearer picture of all this so um, there's not really anything new that I could see in this one because it's all stuff we've seen before as I say just a bit clearer um, which is nice and then finally we have this image so this is a bunch of exhibits I know some people had said oh are these large exhibits are they connected together or anything like that but it does look like this central one at the front here is the only one that's got the full water so we would assume or I would assume at least that this is a terrapin enclosure and the ones surrounding it are not they are something else and they're all just placed next to each other in a cluster um, so apart from that we can see the, that big swampy looking tree on the left which similar kind of structure to the and texture to the, the bits surrounding this exhibit patch um, so it might be that they're recolorable as well so kind of fake tree plus fake rock sets we might be getting because um, we have seen in some of the other images as we've seen before these big chunky trees on the left but they don't have any plants at the top um, and it might even be that we can put, add branches maybe they have branches separately and we can add them on um, and they have trunks separately because it does look similar again to that one I just said about next to the waterfall that was a dark colour that I said could that be a new tree that the vines connect to so um, yeah we, we might be getting a fake rock set as well as a fake um, tree set which would be again very useful very realistic looking um, and then the last thing in here again a, a bit more of the other foliage so the, the weeping willows the, the big leaved ones and the frondy ones so that is everything for the aquatic pack that we've seen so far hopefully over the next few days we'll see um, a better look and an introduction to all the animals specifically um, as the days go on and um, maybe one a day so that will be nice to see we might get a few glimpses of other things in there um, so I'll just qu 
quickly mention the 1.4 update in general so um, the things that we have been told we'll get in that is the water temperature regulator which obviously is going to be more important for these new aquatic animals um, to sort out the water temperature as well as the um, cleanliness um, with the filtration system that we've already got um, we will be getting an underwater feeder um, which is a fish feeder so we can assume most if not all of the new animals will use it and the saltwater crocodile will be able to use it and deep dive as well interestingly not the gharial for some reason especially being a fish eater but hopefully they will they will add this now now that they've completed it and sorted it out got it all working they can add that to future animals we will be getting a transport management tab in the main zoo tab um, which will be useful for anyone who uses a lot of rides you'll be able to do all sorts of functions and um, overview stuff in that tab then we'll be getting a challenge scenario in the Philippines um, which will be nice we'll obviously be getting the keeper talks and educators that were announced previously that I did a video on the other day and then they do say about the added creativity as they always do so we'll be getting a set of decals um, we've seen a little clipboard on one image so um, various little decorative pieces we assume to, to pop on for added realism and things like that two guest paths we'll be getting so yeah I don't know if one of them will be that aquatic one near the penguins that we saw already or if that is an aquatic pack only um, path we will be getting a new Q path and two new Q variants so I'm not sure exactly what they mean by Q variants um, because they're all kind of similar in themselves yeah we'll, it remains to be seen about that one I'm a bit confused with, with that one but we'll see um, new 3D font um, and letters um, which is exciting as we've seen pictures of and as well as 2D fonts and letters so um, that will be quite useful as well to stick on stuff um, not have that 3D relief um, as, as long as the size is decent as well um, would be nice and then obviously all the foliage and bits like that um, so we, we don't know exactly what we've seen rock wise and plant wise and things what will be in the update versus what will be in the aquatic pack DLC itself but um, we in, in general we've pretty much got half and half of everything that is new in, in each so we had about six or seven new plants in the 1.3 update and a similar amount in the Australia pack itself so even if you can't afford to get the aquatic pack currently or or you don't want it you should still be getting a decent amount of new things in the update itself for free so I think I've covered everything hopefully I have that is um, a, a hell of a lot to go through There's loads of cool new stuff very excited um, and I of course will be building with all this stuff when I get my hands on it um, so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel then if you would like to do so that would be cool and you'll be able to see all my stuff that I build with this um, I'll be I'll be thinking of ideas and all sorts of stuff that I can do with this um, once it's out um, you can also follow me on Twitch as well where I've been doing quite a lot um, of live streams just live building and things like that um, and then uploading the finished stuff to YouTube as showcases so um, if you're interested in seeing the live streams some live building and chat and stuff then um, hop over to Twitch and follow me on there that would be lovely um, you can also join the Discord if you want to chat Planet Zoo if you want to hype up if you want to speculate um, talk about talk about DLC talk about general stuff help with anything um, share stuff that you've made all sorts of stuff um, then um, the link will be down below if you'd like to join and you can also follow me on Twitter as well um, so keep your eye on, on all the official Planet Zoo channels the, the, well, we've got the forums, the Twitter, the Instagram the Steam page, all of those things um, where they should be posting hopefully some more um, teasers and um, information and stuff like that um, over the next few days and we will officially get update 1.4 and the aquatic pack 
on the 8th of December. So I'll try and bring you any more news and bits um, on Discord and maybe on here if I see it. Um, and yeah, I hopefully will see you in the next one.